Skin cancer is by far the most common of all cancers. Melanoma is one type of skin cancer. It is rare, but it causes the vast majority of skin cancer deaths. Cherish Lombard is here to tell us why melanoma is so dangerous and who's most at risk. Well, May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and the thing about skin cancer is anyone can get it, and it can show up anywhere on your body, but some people are more likely to develop skin cancer. Living on the Gulf Coast, we all know about skin cancer, but are we doing enough to protect ourselves? We probably see at least 50 skin cancers a week, if not more, and I would not be surprised if we see new patients with melanoma at least once or twice a week. And some people are at a greater risk for developing skin cancer. Fair skin and blue eyed because we cannot protect our skin as well as those with pigment in their skin. And when you get a tan, anytime your skin is darkening, that's actually showing damage to your skin. Melanoma is more than 20 times more common in white Americans than African Americans. But that doesn't mean you're immune if you have darker skin. African Americans can get skin cancer, although rarer than those that are fair skin. Bob Marley actually had melanoma and died of malignant melanoma at the age of 36. And melanoma is starting to show up more in younger adults. Melanoma is increasing in incidence, and melanoma is the most common cancer in young adults ages 25 to 29. And those women that are 15 to 29, melanoma is increasing in that age group. And why is that? Most likely secondary to tanning beds. Dr. Amy Morris says whether you get your color in a tanning bed or from the sun, there is no such thing as a healthy tan. So protecting your skin should start early. If we get our children in the habit of wearing sun protective clothing like rash guards and sunglasses and wide brim hats, that will create a nice healthy habit for them in the future. And Dr. Morris says broad spectrum sunscreen should be part of your daily routine because if you're outside, you're getting sun. They drive in their car, they're in a parking lot, they talk to their neighbors outside in their front yard, and all of that sun exposure is cumulative. And the skin is kind of like an elephant, and it doesn't forget any of the exposure. And get this, Dr. Morris says if you've had just five sunburns in your life, you're more than double your risk of getting melanoma as an adult. On News 5 at 6.30, we'll tell you the top five ways to spot melanoma as we continue our coverage of skin cancer in every newscast. Cherish Lombard, News 5.